All right, guys, so today we're going to be going up against the Kid Boo event with my Mono Extreme Kid Boo team. Now, um, I did want to state, I tried to do this recording before. I tried to find a Kid Boo friend. I couldn't find one. I had to actually I hit up my buddy uh, Corey up on Facebook. I actually threw up a post, and he hit me back saying, hey, I'll, I'll throw him up for you. So I will be using um, his, his uh, lead, his Kid Boo lead. It was Super Attack 10 with full base dupe system, just like mine is, for this event. Um, so first off, I want to talk about my team real quick. Um, so I have my Kid Boo leader, obviously, Super Attack 10, full base dupe system, not that bad as you see his stats over there. I have my Janemba and my Buhan, both max stats. I didn't realize how many freaking, how hard, or how, how what type of stats that this Janemba had. He actually has some really damn nice stats. Look at that defense, 11,222. On, like, a double Kid Boo team, he, even with his freaking, um, his, uh, uh, passive that allows him to guard everything, even that on top coupled with his defense it's insane how much def he defends it's freaking crazy man i love that janemba um obviously i'm gonna keep my kid boo and buhan together and janemba and my friend kid boo together and then i have my three support units uh the two support units that i'm looking at right now that i really like are the turles and the trunks both of them are going to be really good for what i'm trying to do turles gives an attack plus 20 percent and the trunks gives a defense plus 30 percent, so he makes everyone tanky even more the the cora i have here just because he is an attack buff he doesn't have any key support so that kind of sucks but what can you do i'm gonna go talk about the other extreme characters that i have and why i didn't choose them um at least in terms of what other people say to run i like ice shenron as you see over here ice shenron is cool because he debuffs the enemy and greatly lowers defense he only does extreme damage though that's why i really don't want him too much I mean, he's cool to have, but I don't really need to use him. Um, I stated this on one of the Facebook posts earlier when someone was asking a question about whether they should bring hit or not. And honestly, for this team, you're defending and debuffing so much. I mean, you don't need hit, especially if you have Turles because he's already a stunner. You don't need a double stunner on here. Plus, he doesn't give any type of key boost to anyone. So he's going to be most likely on your rotation if you have Buhan and the Janemba. If you don't, then maybe you would want to. Um... The next one that I know everyone wants to talk about is Baby Doken Awaken. Now, I don't have him Doken Awaken, but I'm waiting to get some more dupes of him, so that way I can get him up to Super Attack 10. Um, he does hit hard, but you don't really need him too much. He does have Metamorphosis, which is cool for some HP regeneration if you don't have it. Um, and then what else? The Android 18 and Android 13 Key Orb Manipulators really don't want to run them. Um, this Boo right here, he's cool to have. He actually would be really good for HP regeneration if you don't have um, the Buhan. I would recommend maybe getting one or two dupe pass after you get him up to Super Attack 10 and Doken can awaken him because if he gets a couple crits off with a double 120 lead he's going to be doing a lot of hp regenerate 30 percent is nothing to laugh at man that is a lot especially when he's hitting for a lot like a lot of damage it's going to be pretty damn insane plus he hits off a lot of link skills with that kid boo um obviously i'm running turles and the core is going to open up uh the meta core is going to doken awaken a little bit um you also have uh the ultra rare frieza which is not to be slept on he's a pretty decent unit attack and defense plus 60 percent that's really not that bad um cell is in the same exact boat but he's only attacking defense plus 40 percent of the start of the turn um who else the Korra. This score is not really that great, but he, you know, actually, he's not great at all. <laughs> um, and then, I think that's about it, because I don't think this guy does... Yeah, he's only self-reliant, and he's only self-reliant. So, um, overall, that's really who I'm going to be... You know, I, you can run all those characters if you want. Um, what I will plan on doing for you guys in the future is doing a mono intelligence team again, but I'm going to use the best linking buddy to unlock his max potential. I believe it hits off like five or six, or I don't think all of the link skills that this guy has, and I have the card, it's a Technique Boo, I just forgot which one it was, I think it was either World Tournament one, or it was just a, an SSR that came like as a secondary unit on a banner, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and do a showcase right now, I you know, again, I'm sorry I didn't get the Doken Awaken him on camera, I recorded the Doken Awakening, I couldn't find the Boo, the recording got too long. I didn't want my phone to fill up, so I just got, I got rid of him. Um, anyway, so here we go. Thank you, Corey. We're going to go ahead and use you for this battle. Thank you so much for the card. By the way, shout out to the Multiverse over on Facebook. If you're already not joined over there, make sure you go ahead and join that group. I'm active over there. Um, not so much recently. I apologize to the group because I know I haven't been as active lately. Uh, I've been, I just started doing a, a new workout routine. Um, I've been, like, if I'm not at the gym at work, I'm usually sleeping because my body has been, taken a huge toll. And I try to grind in between, you know what I mean? Like, uh, in the game. It's been very freaking taxing on me, but I'm getting myself to a point where I, where I actually get eight hours, six to eight hours of sleep a night instead of needing the extra hours to, to right. compensate for the amount that I've been actually exercising. So 
Um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys to the group, and go ahead and join over there, and let's go ahead and take this on. Let me know what team you guys are running if you decided to use your Mono Extreme um, team for this event. Um, ah, oh, damn, I, I don't want Cora to have it. I wish you got to the Kid Boo. But um, anyway, so I'm really happy with this team. I really can't wait for that Cora to Doken Waken. I really also want... Now that I have it, the, um, the the Vegeta, the Extreme Vegeta from the Namek Saga. First of all, I just like that Vegeta. He was a lot more calculating, in my opinion, um, than the current Vegeta that we have. They're both cool, but I think he was a little bit more badass and it had a little bit more strategy to him. Or at least it showed more, because he actually thought things out and you heard what he was thinking. Um, oh, perfect setup, actually. That's a perfect damn setup. So we have uh, Buhan and Kipu together. On the next rotation, we have Kipu and Janemba. And then we have our guys on rotation for key support. How freaking awesome is that? Um, oh, and we're going up against the physical unit. So we're going to want to debuff him with Kipu. And Kipu also wants to get that for the debuff. Maybe he can get the, um, what you might call it, the uh, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. And then, I don't know if I want, yeah, no, we're not going to do that with the with the Trunks. Because Trunks doesn't need it. Uh, can we get a Super Ghost Kamikaze attack? Hook it up, hook it up. Oh, uh, no. I shout. Damn it. It's still a little bit of a debuff. So if you don't know, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack does a um, greatly lowers attack and defense. Uh, damn. Well, at least it hit my 100% unit instead of my uh, uh, my not 100% unit. Damn, look at that. 1.1 million on freaking uh, on this team right now. It's insane how freaking awesome that is. And this is not with his, with his max potential unlock. He only has a couple link skills. Oh, look at that. And he dodged. Hell yeah. He only has a couple link skills actually set up for him, if he has max potential, his attack goes up a lot more. Um, obviously, my Goku, my Super Saiyan 4 Goku is, like, ridiculous right now because he is 100%, but um, it will, I will do a showcase with the, with 100%, um, well, max potential for that Kid Buu, like I said. Uh, Alright, so what do we do here? There's that, there's that. And I don't know if I, I kind of want to get my Korra to do a super attack, but I feel like I'm going to need the, the orbs for Buhan for next round for some healing. Um, I probably should have switched. No, no, I want the, uh, the key buffs, or the buffs between Korra and Boo. Look at 1.4, though. 1.4. How sick is that? Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, that's probably because Big Bad Boss... Was Big Bad Boss just activated? I don't remember. Look at that. 784,000 on 100% Janemba. So all of you who are wondering if Janemba was worth it, he's worth it. <laughs> Get the dupes into him. He may only be viable uh, if you guys pull the strength one on a mono intelligence team, you know, moving forward. But, like, you can't knock the fact that he's not hitting for hard on a mono extreme. How freaking... Oh, it's so insane. I love it. Um, actually, let's take a look at the defense to see what we have here. 33. Yeah, the Buhan is definitely going to be the one who I want to get the... Um, to block against that guy. So, against the actual other Buu, the South Supreme Kai Buu. And look at that. Look at that. I'm back to 100% health. Haven't had to do anything. Haven't had to do anything. Oh, man. Too bad Buhan wasn't next because I can get some more key. But it's all right. Because that just means I'm going to give Janemba all of those um, intelligence orbs, and when Janemba gets all those intelligence orbs, because his defense is so high, I'm going to get a lot more regeneration. Janemba might as well just be a Buhan on that side. <laughs> uh, look at that, 1.2 million just on a Vice Shout. I can't wait to see what he does with a Super Ghost Kamikaze attack, if I can get, if I could showcase that in this video. So 100% Buhan, guys. 100% Buhan and Janemba. This team is so freaking dope. Holy crap. Oh, perfect. Now I can showcase the defense of Janemba. He's going up against Type Disadvantage. Um, obviously, he's going to, you know, he doesn't really have Type Disadvantage here because of his uh, special on his passive. But with that being said, let's go ahead and do that. And do that. And um, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, should I do? Should I do that? Yeah, let's do some damage reduction. Now, you know what? No, no. As I want to showcase this team, we're not going to use any items. At least we're going to see if we can help from using items. The Kid Buu in the end is definitely going to destroy Rape Trunks. But let's see how much damage he does right now against Janemba with nothing. 20,000. That's it, guys. 20,000 on a super attack. How freaking insane. Get a crit. Hook up a crit. Nah, no crit. All right, fine. No double attack. Maybe he'll dodge? Who knows? All right, 20,000. We go 20,000. Oh, man, at 1.1, can you get... Oh, he doesn't have any crit, so he won't def He definitely won't get a crit. He only has dodge on him. But, hell yeah, guys. That's freaking sick. Oh, man, then Trunks... Well, you know, Trunks doesn't do too bad. 109,000, you can get him maxed. That, like, you can get some dupe system in on him. Uh, let's see what he does. He's probably going to take 130. Oh, 104, not that bad. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we got set up. All right, so Majin, Big Bad Bosses, Walt Fenton. Yep, okay, cool. Um, let's see, because we want to deep, 
buff, but we also want to heal. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to heal because we want that healing power from Boo. And, oh, shoot. See, that's the one suck about having Korra here. Now my, my Boo is not going to get off a super attack. And that really sucks. So, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. And hopefully I can get the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. Can we get the Super Ghost Kamikaze? God damn it. Give me a Super Ghost Kamikaze. I want to freaking debuff this SOB. Additional Super Ghost Kamikaze? No, double device. Well, you know what? It's all right. It double debuffs him, so that's not horrible. Uh, all right, cool. Let's see what we got here. Can we get a dodge? 77,000. Ooh, I might die here. I might die here. 77,000. Yeah, I'm going to die here. Unless he dodges! No, fuck you. <laughs> um, you know, we're not going to continue. And we're going to go ahead and take this event on again. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, let's go see if I could actually find uh, if my friend. I don't know. How, I don't know how many times you can use it. It doesn't actually tell you how many times you can use a friend. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can't. Use it. Oh yeah, has got it. All right, cool. Let's see what we got here. Can we see what he has? Oh shoot! All right, guys. So this is going to turn into a little bit of a longer video. <laughs> Um, so now we know right. we actually still need to use damage reduction on that physical stage. So, oh, I'm just re reseating myself because my leg is falling asleep over here. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to go here. We're just going to go ahead and run and get this key as fast as we can because I didn't want to die. <laughs> but I did. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. And four. And six. That worked for me. Alright. Oh, perfect. Another good lineup. Well, except for the Kid Boo that's coming around next round. But, not that ho not horrible. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then two. And then three. Alright, let's see what we got here. Maybe I can get a crit with my Boo on. Oh, Super Ghost Kamikaze, let's see, 960-something thousand? What the heck? Well, he got a crit, though. one shot at him. Hell yeah. That's freaking sick. I like that. That's right, Boo, you get angry. Alright. And now we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to get my Janemba... And how are we going to get three? How are we going to get three? Can we get... Yeah, we can get three right now. So that way, now my now all of them are going to be getting super attacks off. Uh, unless Janemba doesn't get a crit. I mean, I don't even think Janemba with a crit is going to actually do anything. Look at that. 94 damage. Nothing. Hell yeah. All right, 600,000. Why did he go up before? I don't understand. There's no uh, stat buff increase. Um, oh, well, whatever. Oh, double attack. Hell yeah, double super attack. Can we get a crit on the second one? That would just make it, like, uh, freaking uh, cherry on top right there. Supernova for the Korra, who doesn't really do anything. No damage there. Wow. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> I would need another one. I want to get the, um, him I want to get him some dodge. So I'll probably do like top left dodge and then his free dodge on top of that. So we'll see what happens. If I can pull a dupe. I really don't want to throw... I really don't throw too much support in the um, support units or dupes in the dupe system for the, for the support units. I've been debating on whether or not I want to actually use... Uh, I'm going to get, keep my friend with my Janemba because I think... Actually, Janemba doesn't hit off more lanes, so we're going to keep the friend here. Uh, shoot. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out now what's the best way because I want my Buhan to get a super attack off and he's not going... Yeah, my Buhan won't be able to get jack shit off. Uh, Alright, well, whatever. What can you do, right? Let's uh, free up some of this... Get some of this candy out of here because this is garbage. There we go. Alright, cool. That stinks. My, my hardest hitting units are freaking unable to super attack. Oh, I got the additional, though, so never mind. I got super lucky with that one. <laughs> I love how he freaking just, like, disappears, like, goes to mush and goes around to the back of the opponent. That's freaking awesome. Ah, uh, shoot. All right, cool. We're done with this round. Now, now we're back to the round that I freaking, like, died on. <laughs> Screw you, Dokkan Battle. Um, all right, cool. So, what we're going to do is keep Janem... Well, do, do these two link together? They do link together. God damn it. Thirst for Conquest. They hit each other off with. I can't do that. I was going to keep the defense buff on there with Janemba, because I figured, why the hell not? But uh, we're going to go ahead and do this, just because the Korra can't take super attacks, even though 
um, Janemba can tank them. And we're going to do an additional um, a defense increase. Look at that, 65,000 defense. That's insane. Uh, all right, cool. So we have that. And we're going to go here with him. And we're going to go here to get some of those candies out of the way. And we don't want Trunks to actually... We don't need Trunks to super attack because it makes nothing. Four thousand, awesome. And Janemba, six hundred twenty-seven thousand. All right, that's what we got here. Only one hundred sixty-four. Come on, get the crit, bro. God damn. I'm just finishing up my Red Bull over here. <clears throat> Sixty thousand. All right, not bad. And uh, in terms of viability, um, survivability, I don't know how well this team's gonna do on, a, on against physical events. Just seeing how everything's going right now. Um, but we're going to go ahead and heal up. Because <laughs> uh, I definitely need to heal up. Uh, they lost big bad bosses, which kind of sucks. And my boo is... Well, you know, at least here... You know, damn, I, I wonder how much uh, defense... You no, know, it doesn't matter. Um, I would have used it. I would have used that anyway for the healing. Because he would definitely not have healed enough. And... Uh, here, we're just going to do two, so we could bring down... See what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to bring down those Intelligence Orb. We're not sure. Yes, yeah, Super Ghost Kamikaze, 1.5 million with the Turles on the, with the boost. Oh, man, no crit, though. That kind of sucked. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, he got the dodge. That's my Buhan for you. Hell yeah. Thank you, Buhan. And he had such a small dodge rate, too. Uh, 44,000, not that bad. So that's with a defense buff with Balmo for 20%, and that is with a, um, uh, a damage reduction of 35% from the Icarus. That's actually not bad. Look at that. That's so freaking sick. And then we got one more super attack. Let's see what he does here. Oh, that's right. I also got the 10% um, health back from that super attack. So that definitely helped out a lot. Okay, perfect. This is exactly what we want. Um, unfortunately, those two don't link that well together. But the um, Boo uh, yeah, the boo and the Janemba do. So we're going to keep them together. We're going to have Janemba tank. And let's see. We're, I, you know, as much as I want to let Korra get the super attack off, he just sucks. He doesn't hit hard. I, I need to get him Doken Awakened, and I want some Dupaz of him unlocked, so that way I can actually, you know, utilize him a little bit more. Or not, like, utilize him, but may, at least make him be able to dodge. But anyway, I'm sorry for the lengthy video. I, I just don't, you like, to, I don't really don't use Dragonstones on events. I think the only Dragonstones that I've done in the past four months on an event, on an event was the, um, the Fusion, the, the, Super, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta event, just because I kept on dying in the last round. <laughs> and I had a really good mono strength team for that too, which is odd. All right, Korra, you're to 94,000. Jesus, man, he's such a weak defense. Um, one good thing about this right here, um, we have this for Boo. He's gonna get. Yeah, he doesn't. They definitely don't do enough uh, healing on this round. But maybe I lost my my debuff. That, that's probably what's going on right now um, from that Janemba. Let, yeah, I'm not gonna use that because I don't need it anymore. I shouldn't be able to need, use it anymore. Um, I should be. You know what? Let's just... Yeah, I need to use it. Screw that noise. I don't want to freaking chance it because I'm not doing another freaking video uh, or another round of me losing like crazy. But luckily, I did have a friend who who had a really good uh, kid boo as well because that, that one crit actually saved me. If it wasn't for that crit, I don't think I would have been this far in the, in the round. So, uh, one, one million for a vice shout. Not bad. And my kid boo, 1.3 million. And let's see what we got here. Can we regenerate the rest of our health? Oh, thank God. We're, we're out of this freaking hell of a stage. Uh, all right, there's my kid, Boo. That's like when he was in space right after he destroyed Earth. And... Oh, perfect. Perfect. Hell yeah. So we have that. We're going to get rid of some of that candy. My Janemba is going to super attack. Uh, we only need two. Here's one. That for you. And then... Yep. And then we're going to give that to... Turles, so that way he could actually get off Super Deck. Maybe he'll stun him. Who knows? Um, all I know is my th th that kid Boo ain't doing jack shit to my Janemba, because my Janemba's just a beast. 628,000. Hell yeah. Can we get a double? Nah, no double. But, um, yeah, guys, I really love... I'm, I'm loving this team. This team is actually a lot of freaking fun to play with. I lo and I love the freaking attack animation on this kid Boo. It's just... It's probably one of the better attack animations that I've seen so far. I think the only one I like better is when, like... Uh, the intelligent Super Saiyan Gogeta kicks whoever he's going after in the head. <laughs> that, that's one of my favorite things. Oh, uh, man. But, yeah, let's see what we got here. Alright, get these two. 
Um, we're gonna put my Buhan first because maybe he could debuff with a, with a, like a, a super ghost kamikaze attack. And then after he gets attacked, so the reasoning why I usually put the Kid Buu second also, not only because Buhan debuffs, but because Kid Buu on his super attack regenerates health. So in terms of tactics here, um, put him second because after the first one gets attacked, he'll do a super attack and he'll regenerate health. So if I have max health, it wouldn't make sense for him to regenerate if no one's going to attack him first. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. A little bit of tactics with Dokonic here. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what we got here. Can we get the crit 1.1 with a vice shout? That's because of the 25% um, boost from Korra, Meta Korra. Can we get... No, I don't have anything. I think this is my friend. Yeah. Look at that, 762, and the event is over. Hell yeah. So, it's not going to be optimal. You're not going to want to run a intelligence team against a physical stage, especially one with that physical stage where he's supering all the time. That's obviously putting it to the test. But as you see here, this team is freaking beastly, guys. This team is beast. So, um, go ahead and, um, you know, let me know how you guys are doing. What is your favorite team so far that's been released on the global side? Hey, you know what? If you play on the JP side, out of all the 120 leads only, not, not the 70%, so not the category leaders, of the 70%, what is your favorite? Not the most optimal, because I know there's a whole thing done on Reddit about what the most optimal team is for the quickest way to beat an event between crits and damage output and this and that. For what which team do you like between the character who leads them, if you like that character, and the attack animations. All right, let's just let's disregard all of the attack output and just talk about the specialties that they can that they have and their attack animations. You know, if if you just like the fact that they do a lot of damage, I mean, yeah, I guess you could throw that down there too. But I'm talking about like more of like specials, like you know, dodging or healing or stuff like that. Things that don't have to do with damage output. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I didn't mean this for this to be like a 22-minute video, um, but you know what? It turned out to be so. <laughs> um, thank you for joining me here. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Uh, let me know how you're doing. If you if you got the Kibu, what team you're using to go up against the event, and your favorite characters. Um, anyway, guys, I'm, again, this is going to be posted up on Sunday. It's currently Friday. Um, I'll probably be leaving Rochester, New York to come back downstate, so... Um, you probably won't hear from me on Monday because I might be a little bit too hungover on Sunday to actually record a video. But anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you down in the comments below.